Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. I'm Garrett from eBay. Today, I'm going to talk about the eBay monitoring platform policy engine on Flink. Oh, not responding? Uh, sorry, it seems not responding. Point it towards to this, yeah. changing slides. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the agenda for today's talk. We will go through eBay monitoring overall architecture. Then we will talk about the uh, uh, typical real-time monitoring use case. And uh, uh, at last, we will talk about the policy engine. Uh, from this overall architecture, you can see we have three parts in uh, eBay monitoring platform. Uh, left, uh, ingress on the left and uh, egress on the right and the processing part on the middle. For ingress part, we have three components. The retrain service, which has integration with eBay, eBay asset, uh, internal asset repository system to get the unique uh, consumer ID. And we will use this consumer ID to uh, identify what the application the data belongs to. And uh, we, another is ingress service. We are, it supports the ingestion data uh, over H3 protocol. And we also have the adapters. We have elastic, uh, elastic bits adapters to, uh, to collect the metrics and the logs from machine and uh, integrate with ingress service to ingest into our monitoring platform. And ingress part, we have two major components. One is ingress service, which is, uh, has uh, HP-based uh, service to query the data from our monitoring platform. And we have another uh, Sherlock RO, which, uh, which which is built on top of Kibana and uh, integrated with our eGuard e service to visualize the metrics, events, and the logs. On the middle part, it is uh, uh, the, policy uh, the processing part. We have two components, the Flink and the policy engine. Uh, the Flink is, uh, all of you should already know, it is uh, uh, the high throughput, the low latency, and uh, uh, stateful uh, stream processing engine. And we have the policy engine uh, built on top of the Flink. Uh, the policy engine is a, dis a distributed uh, pre-processing and alerting engine. Uh, it has three subcomponents of metadata service, which is a declarative API to define the stream, uh, the user's pre-processing and alerting request. And uh, the capability framework, which is a, a simple uh, interfaces to implement uh, streaming processing um, program. And also we have the Flink adapter, which, uh, which can run our capability framework on Flink jobs. OK, this is the overall architecture. OK. Uh, before we talk about, um, more about the policy engine, let's take a look at the typical real-time monitoring use case. Uh, in eBay, we have two cloud, uh, cloud computing solutions. One is Kubernetes, and another is OpenStack. Uh, for Kubernetes, we de developed the collect bits on top of Elastic Bits uh, framework and uh, uh, provide the discover, service, discover capability. Then we can collect the metrics, uh, events, uh, and logs uh, from, from the Kubernetes cluster and, uh, uh, and send, send to our monitoring platform. For the other infrastructures, we will use, deploy the metrics piece and the five bits to collect uh, um, metrics and the logs to understand to our monitoring platform. Once the data comes to our monitoring platform, we can apply, we can use policy engine to apply the pre-processing and the alerting uh, pol pol uh, policy rules. Uh, usually, for uh, for logs, we will apply some grok functions to uh, to uh, convert the the unstructured data to structured data. For events, usually we will apply some dedupe function on specific field to uh, reduce the uh, remove the uh, duplicate records. And uh, for metrics, usually we will apply the temporal aggregation and the spatial aggregation against the raw metrics to generate the uh, statistic uh, hist histogram. Then we. After this pre-processing, we can uh, join these metrics together and uh, uh, do some filter uh, arithmetic computation and also the uh, threshold alerting. Uh, once the alert is generated, we can the user will be notified through multiple channels like uh, Slack, uh, PayDuty, or email. Okay. 
Uh, to elaborate the policy engine, I would like to go through the following characters. Uh, first, we talk about uh, the uh, metadata driven. In our policy engine uh, metadata service, we have four concepts, cluster, job, capability, and policy. The cluster and job is intuitive. It just represents the uh, Flink, uh, Flink cluster and the uh, Flink jobs. And uh, the capability, it is, uh, uh, it is the uh, it is pre-processing the pipeline. We define the uh, according to, based on our capability framework, and the policy uh, represents the user's pre-processing and alerting request. And uh, with the de declarative APIs, the user is able to def to define the is is able to de uh, define the uh, the pre-processing and, and, and alerting alerting rules uh, based on the uh, based, uh, it, is uh, 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 with with declarative, declarative API, the user can define the preprocessing and alerting request uh, according to the uh, our our preprocess uh, capability framework and uh, the the pipeline to do, to do the. Let me give give you a concrete example. Uh, uh, for preprocessing, usually we will create uh, uh, some generic functions like uh, grok, dedupe, and uh, uh, enrich, and so on. And uh, the user can use our declarative API to declare these uh, capabilities with uh, some configurations to to define the preprocessing the DAG. Then we will uh, convert the convert the preprocessing uh, the DAG to the uh, capability framework pipeline and uh, execute it in Flink cluster. Uh, this sounds like uh, just sounds like uh, the uh, you you can define the pipeline and we will run it like uh, first do do. First, uh, do grok, and then we do the dedupe. Uh, last, do uh, uh, last do enrichment. This this can also be uh, applied in the UI. So the user user just need to drag the uh, drag the, the corresponding uh, functions into the uh, into the pipeline. And also, we have the uh, version uh, version the policy deployment. Uh, once once new policy get deployed, we will generate the unique version ID, and uh, we uh, notify the uh, Flink adapter to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to notice the to notice the policy change, and the and the uh, Flink adapter will get notified through the, the zookeeper and uh, call make a RPC call to the metadata service to get the latest the metadata metadata, and then apply in Flink job. So. Our policy deployment will, does not require the uh, Flink, Flink job restart. And also, we implement the self-service alert DSL. With, we, with this DSL, we can uh, allow users to define the alert, alert uh, uh, rules by themselves. It, it is, uh, here is one example. Uh, the diagram on the right, it is a simple DB throttling count alerting. Uh, if the, for example, if the, this if the Sherlock job uh, has more than uh, 200,000 uh, uh, DB queries, then we will get generate the DB throttling count alert. Uh, next is uh, we we will also uh, uh, have the centralized metadata management and deployment service. Okay. Okay. Then let's talk about the how do we implement the um, multi-tenancy. As you know, we our unified monitoring platform. Uh, we, we would like to implement the unified monitoring platform with a certain degree isolations. Uh, to do the to achieve that, what we do is uh, we introduce the two resources, cluster and the job. And also, we implement the class and job uh, management and uh, the resource allocation. To achieve uh, for resource allocation, we introduce the namespace. Okay, with uh, with the namespace, we can do the class uh, class management and the resource allocation. If the uh, if the class is dedicated, that means we will. Uh, 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 only the only the application with the, the same namespace can be deployed to the cluster. If the cluster is not dedicated, then we will use the uh, namespace corresponding uh, tags. We can apply some tags, something like a priority to do to do the uh, to do assignment and the deployment. 
Uh, let me give you a concrete example. Uh, new data is uh, eBay new generation uh, distributed and uh, uh, cloud native uh, data platform. It is uh, it has critical uh, monitoring requirements. So we can provide the dedicated uh, fleet cluster for this uh, monitoring request. And for the other non-critical requirements, we can uh, provide the shared fleet cluster for deployment. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, next is about the job uh, uh, job assignment, job deployment. The policy represents the user's pre uh, processing and alerting request. Policy can uh, uh, usually we will deploy the similar policy like uh, the same pipeline uh, processing pipeline to the to the same flink uh, flink job. But to mitigate the impact uh, among the uh, policies, we would like to introduce a, uh, some isolation uh, against the, the policy assignment. What we do is uh, similar to the, uh, the, cluster, the cluster resource allocation. Uh, we will introduce uh, the namespace concept also. So the job with the specific uh, uh, namespace, only the corresponding namespace policy can be deployed to that uh, job. If the job is uh, not dedicated, that means it can using the namespace corresponding the tags like priority to uh, find to to uh, to find the corresponding uh, job to deploy. Uh, let me give you a concrete example. We have uh, assume the the Grok, Grok, the Grok uh, function is the CPU. Uh, CPU sensitive uh, functions. Uh, assume we have two uh, Grok requests. The one is high priority and another is low priority. If uh, uh, we don't want the high priority uh, Grok request that is impacted by low priority request, so we will uh, give the different priority for these two policies and uh, uh, deploy these two policies to different flink jobs to avoid impacting each other. Okay. Next, let's talk about uh, how do we improve the real time. Uh, in a policy engine, both the uh, control plane and the data plane uh, are real time. For control plane, we, our metadata service can deploy the policy to flink cluster dynamically. So policies change will be, uh, uh, will be, not, will be, will be persisted to Zookeeper. And then the flink uh, adapter will be implemented, will, will uh, receive the uh, notification event and uh, uh, get the, uh, then make an RPC call to metadata service to get the corresponding metadata, uh, metadata and apply in Flink job. And for that plane, we, uh, we introduced the, the Kafka based uh, distributed uh, message, message bus and also along with the Flink uh, real time stream processing engine. So we, c we are able to process the message in sub seconds. Okay, next is how do we handle the scalability? In, in policy engine, the policy parallel is configurable and we can scale, rescale the policy uh, dynamically in, in job. And also we, have, we can overwrite the, the operator, pipeline, uh, operator parallel in the pipeline. Uh, next is about uh, extensibility. Um, in policy engine, we implemented the capability framework to achieve the extensibility. In the capability framework uh, has one uh, soup interface called capability. It only has four methods, start, stop, validate, and execute. And we will, we also have the, uh, it also have three uh, children interface, sync capability, as, which represents the synchronized manipulation, and the asynchronous capability, which represents a synchronized cap uh, a synchronized manipulation, and also window capability, which represents the uh, manipulation which uh, deal with the time window. Uh, all of the windows supported by Flink will be supported in policy engine, such as uh, a side window, template window, and the session window. And we also implemented some generic capabilities for our monitoring use case, such as for sync the capability, we implemented the uh, Grok, dedupe, enrich, and the others. For the async capability, we implemented the uh, alert DSL capability and uh, the CD capability. With the CD capability, it, it, uh, it, we can 
um, migrated all, a lot of the uh, legacy rules which runs on CD to our new platform without any changes. Okay, next is about schemaless. Uh, we don't want to uh, we don't want to use it to define the schema because uh, we have uh, hundreds of applications in eBay and uh, uh, each application will have different uh, um, uh, different data schemas uh, and it have a lot of uh, different data, data schemas to to handle this we would like to introduce the schemaless uh, the policy engine so all the data feed into our monitoring platform will will be key value pairs. It will contain the schema, and uh, we will persist the data, the data schema into a uh, time series database like uh, uh, Elasticsearch, and then we will provide the discover uh, dic discover uh, RESTful API to uh, query the query the schema of the data by the timestamp. With this approach, we will be able to uh, in, uh, we, we will be able to define the alert and the. Uh, 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 Preprocessing and the preprocessing request uh, without defining the schema. Okay, next is uh, how do we implement the high availability? Uh, although the Flink is uh, high availability enabled, but uh, we to get the end-to-end -end high availability, what we do is we would like make the policy engine active active deployment strategy. Uh, the bits adapter will be will, uh, will talk to our ingress GTM, which uh, will find the nearest uh, uh, ingress service and uh, in, and uh, ingest the met, uh, metrics events and logs to our monitoring platform. Uh, it will write to the the same region, uh, the Kafka cluster, and we will set up a Kafka mirror maker to copy the data from one region to another region. Then our policy engine will process the full data stream in one region. Okay, next uh, let's talk about the pol policy life cycle. Uh, to, to run pre-processing and alerting requests in our policy engine, what we do is first uh, the admin user can, using our uh, metadata service with declarative API to, to define the processing pipeline. And then the user create the uh, preprocessing and alerting request. Uh, after that, we will find the uh, uh, find and create a Flink job, a Flink cluster, and a Flink job to for for uh, for the policy deployment. And then we will persist, persist the policy assignment information into the Zookeeper. Uh, and the, the after that, the Flink uh, adapter will read this information from uh, uh, Zookeeper get and. Uh, what, what I mean is uh, get notified, uh, and then it will make a RPC call to our metadata service to get uh, the specific version uh, metadata, and then apply, apply in Flink job. Okay, to summarize what we talk today, uh, today we talk about the overall architecture and then the real-time monitoring use case. Uh, last, we, will go, we go through the policy engine through the following characters. Okay, uh, that's pretty much for today's talk. Uh, any questions? All right, we have time for one or two questions. Any questions in the crowd? All right, oh, one in the back. You mentioned a time series database. I was curious uh, what you're using and sort of to what extent um, that's being used to sort of store these events. Time series database you had mentioned. So, sorry, I cannot hear you clearly. Can, uh, can you put it into? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which um, you'd mentioned using a time series database. Uh, for for uh, for the dimensions, what I mean is the Topo store. We are using the Elasticsearch as the time series database. Ah, okay. All right, thank you very much, Garrett. Yeah, thank you.